by ball club. They do it on the defensive end. And ironically, they both shared their last opponent. Crutwig with a great find there. Double comes. The question is, can he pass out of the doubles as well as Crutwig? Shot clock down. Lance Jones beats the buzzer and drills a three. That final four team and that terrific program that they've got rolling right now. There's a, a nifty left hand sweep. Uguak misses the three. Will Temple be different for either team? There's Jones with another heave, and he hits another three. And Illinois is off to an 8 2 start. Jones again, a three. Jones again. Crutwig battling Filowich. And he steps through, scores, and he's got a free throw coming. Hit themselves for getting on the floor and getting after the 50-50s or the loose balls. So both teams oh, are really another. to take it in that, in that situation. And if I were coaching him, I wouldn't be concerned. Yeah, well, you, I mean, you took a few of those in your day. Nice drive on the road and got a 10-point lead in the first half a couple of times and kept it close the whole night. Oh, a stumbling shot. Gamblers trying to get their offense rolling. They're four of 10 from the field. A drive there by Kennedy, one of the many sophomores coming off the bench. Uh, that has Gonzaga, Santa Clara, BYU, St. Mary's. Very skilled and very good coaching in this league. Against this defense, Norris cut him off. Crutwig has the rebound. Norris up ahead and a driving layup. Only five fouls so far in this one. Oh, that's a nice drive and finish. This is a league, this is a scouting report league. So many coaches played in this league and now coach in this league. This game against Valpo with four made threes. He's a big part to what they're gonna do come March. Steal, this is Lucas Williamson and he scores. Jones, another turnover, and a length of the floor pass picked off. Banks back up the floor, and the floater. Best ways to score against this Rambo defense is just that way. Broken plays and opportunities, you've got to make the most of them like Banks did there. Filowicz, and Filowicz gets inside. Denies on the uh, low blocks. Ramblers with the ball and a four-point lead. We're under two minutes left, first half. That's Clemens, and he hits a three straight on. Kennedy probing and falling away and missing badly. Got the rebound and got the bucket. Just 20 points. Verplanken gets inside. Transfers are becoming such a big part of college basketball, but it's not just at the Division I level. You're seeing a lot of D2 guys transfer to Division I's as well. Crutwig whistles a pass over. Norris another three, and he hits it. 13-point hole. Filowicz kicks out. Verplanken hits a three. and Brian Mullins. He, he felt that that is something that they needed to do, is hit threes to then be able to make that down is something guards aren't usually accustomed to. It's a nice pick and pop for Tom Welch, who misses, but the follow by Tate Hall. Well, I want to go back to the comment you made a second ago and the fact that SIU has, hasn't shot a single free throw. That is so impressive because, obviously, from the 28 points, 11 of 30 shooting, Verplanken, that's a three. Patient finds Verplanken Jr. for the three. Keith Clemens a runner. And Crudwig puts it back in. I know he probably has visions and, and goals to play professionally, which I'm sure he will over in Europe, but he is going to be a monster in city leagues. We talked about floor burn you. Brian Mullins was the point guard during that time. That's a great give. Miss on the dunk. And a nice little bunny follow. To get hydrated as quickly as you can, but, but to be honest with you, it's the hydration the day before, really, that allows you to stay in optimal quicker 
and get into an offensive set or concept much sooner. Filowich again backs in, and this time, really good job of making you work for everything. And whether it's you're trying to get into ball screen actions, pin downs, or post. With what looks like cramps in both legs. Around a screen and a nice find. Six point ball game. Jacob Hudson in the game. Filowich kicks a three on a three and a loose possession and a turnover. Numbers for the Ramblers. Uguak, Hudson layup is good. And a three by Brown is off. Good rebound by Verplanken. Brown again, quick release, and he drains a three. Advance it and launch it. There's the launch, and he banks it in. Quick dump inside and a layup by Devonzo, but too little, too late. The top four teams in the Missouri Valley all win tonight. Porter Moser and the Ramblers are now 15 and 2.